Okay, so we're back with Bria again. <laughs> we are at the Taste of Charlotte. So it's like a little food festival that we have. Um, I found it on Instagram, so hopefully it's good. It's a couple places that I've actually been to out here. <laughs> and hopefully it's good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just take out with us. I already went home and took Chase out, and then I came here. It is Friday. June the 9th, so you know what? You're ruining my vlog, sir. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I'll show y'all what it looks like when we get here. Hopefully, it's like some good vendors and stuff. And I'm starving, so hopefully, it's good. So, just got back from the festival. It was actually really fun. There was a lot of good stuff out there. Most of the places I had before, but the food was really good. It was a good time. I usually don't go out on Friday, so I'm excited that I did because I want to get out more. I'm actually really a homebody, so um, y'all, I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs, three flights of stairs, but I am so glad that I went out. Like, it's not something that I typically do, especially on Friday, I just come home and chill out. But I'm glad that I went, I'm glad that I got out of the house and that I actually, you know, did something that I don't typically do. So I'm excited because I want my channel just to like get me out more, to do more stuff around the city, to do more in Charlotte because I'm usually just home, like working home. So I'm about to take a shower and go to bed because it is 11 o'clock and I have a hair appointment at eight in the morning. So I have to be up pretty early because I have to get Chase out and fed and get ready for my appointment at eight. So I'm about to take a shower, lay it down and I will catch up with y'all in the morning before my appointment. Good morning, it is Saturday, June the 10th. I am out at the dog park with Chase and just letting him do his thing. I think he's somewhere back there. Oh, sorry, he's doing his business. <laughs> um, I have to pick that up, but I'm up this morning early because I am going to get my hair done. So I'm going to get a silk press at eight. So I need to get him outside, feed him, and then I need to get some breakfast. I probably need to get some coffee too because it is early. But I'm trying to think what else I need to do today. I need to make a grocery list. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the grocery store today or tomorrow because Saturday the grocery store is like, I don't know, it's just super busy. So I may go Sunday. That's what I did last week and I actually preferred it because everybody was not there and I didn't have to, you know, squeeze through everybody, excuse me, excuse me, to get what I needed out of the store. So I may go tomorrow, but I need to get my list. After I leave the salon getting my soap press I have got to get my toes done because it is past time I'm over here looking like Fred Flintstone so I'm gonna get those done today too and then I'm trying to think what else I have planned I don't really have too much planned today other than that because my boyfriend and I are going out to dinner tonight at this new little um hookah spot slash restaurant in Charlotte called Fumi so yeah I don't know I may go get some ice cream later or we may go get some ice cream later and I may get Chase a puppy. But yeah, so I need to pick this up and head back inside with him and then try to figure out what I'm eating for breakfast. So I am back. Clearly, I have changed clothes. We are about to go to this taco place down the street called Tacos for Life. It is really so good. They have a crab cake taco, y'all. That is amazing. I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. So I, it's like five minutes 
So once I get there, I'll show y'all what I got. Um, I think I'm gonna get some elote because they have it in the cup and not on the cob. And maybe a mark. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see y'all when we get there. I'm so hungry. I'm about to pass. Two crab cake tacos, a pineapple honey toast, and the queso rice instead of the corn. I'm so excited to eat them. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Alright. Okay. It comes with a little wedge of wine. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people. <laughs> oh, y'all, I am starving. Oh, good. I'm about to lose my graphic. Alright, I'm going to finish eating. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to go to the mall. Good morning. So I am at Dunkin' Donuts getting some breakfast because today is Sunday. So I'm doing my grocery shopping. Um, I'm going to three stores. I know, very extra. But I just like what I like. And I'm going to get what I need where I need to. So, um, I am at Dunkin' Donuts because they have really good croissants, so I'm getting some breakfast. And then I need to go to Walmart to get, like, dry goods, stuff that's not, like, produce. And then I'm going to Trader Joe's because my friend sent me a list of things to get from Trader Joe's, so I'm going to pick some things from my meal prep to get there. And then I need to go to Publix because I need to get some salmon for Chase because I make his dog food. So this week I'm gonna do salmon for him. So I'm just gonna run by there and grab a piece of salmon. And I think that should be it. But yeah, I'm at the drive-thru now. I'm like starving. So, but yeah, last night we went to Fume. It was really fun. It was just different for us because we usually go to like dinner, dinner like restaurants. And Fume is more of like a, um, I would say like a lounge, but they also have food, like small plates, tapas. But it was really fun. The DJ was good. It was just fun. It was a nice atmosphere, nice environment, nice vibe. It's black owned. So if you're in Charlotte, check out Fume. All right, y'all, I'm almost at the window, so I need to pay. So I'm going to put the camera down and then I'll pick it back up once I get my food. All right, y'all, so I just parked really quick so I can eat. Um, okay, so I got hash browns and a sweet black pepper bacon uh, egg and cheese croissant. It's so good. Like, it's really, really good. So... Yeah, Fume was really nice. Um, I don't usually, I guess like it's been a while since I've been like outside really because work, um, I told you I took the bar exam in February of this year. So just like my focus this year in the beginning was just like goal chasing. So career, um, trying to do better with my YouTube. I'm not trying, I'm doing better with my YouTube and my styling business, just getting more clients, getting my business out there and focusing on being more present and living in the moment. So I'm a planner. So I like to plan. I like to map out things. I'm not like a spur of the moment person. And for me, I want my channel to help me just get out of my shell a lot more, like going out, doing things like Friday when I... Oh, y'all, my car has been on this whole time. Let me cut this off. Jesus. Bout scared me. Bout had a heart attack. <laughs> but just getting out and doing more. Um, 
because I have become a homebody since I moved here because I don't really know anybody. I haven't really met a lot of people here in Charlotte. But the good news is, one, I'm always here for you. Like, always. Two, my college roommate is going to be moving here at the end of this month. So I'm excited. Just, like, doing stuff other than, like, on the weekends with my man. I love that. But still, you know, you need girl time. Like, always need girl time. I'm not one of those like, oh, my man, my man, my man. I'm never hanging out with the girls. Like, no, we need time to also be individuals. So, yeah. I don't think they put any. Mm. Napkins in my bag. But the croissant is good. Honestly, it's always good. Their hash browns are really good, too, because they have, like, herbs. Yeah, I know y'all can't see that. What am I doing? They have herbs and, like, spices in them. So they're not just, like, plain hash browns. They're pretty good. They're really good, actually. And, yes, I squeeze my ketchup on each hash brown. Because otherwise, it's just a mess and too much ketchup. So, what was I saying? Oh, Fumi. Fume, however you pronounce it. It was really fun. It was black owned. It was good to see, like, some people were there for a date night. Some people were there celebrating a birthday. Or just, like, a group of friends hanging out. So, it was just really cool. Again, it's black owned. It was a nice vibe. It was cute. We did have a little bit of a wait. And I think it's because of the time that we went. We went at 8.30. And by like 9.30, they start to switch to the late night um, menu. Because then it turns into like a lounge. So like the DJ came. It was cute. I think I may go back for brunch. Cause the brunch looks good, so we'll see. But I'm gonna finish eating, and then I'm making a mess. I'm going to the car wash today too. But I'm gonna finish eating, then I need to go to Walmart and Trader Joe's. I'm excited. Mmm. Please tell me they put coconut milk. Yes, they did. I am excited to go to Trader Joe's because I haven't been there in a minute. And I follow the black girls and Trader Joe's on Instagram. But I just feel like I never know what to get. So I'm glad my friends sent me some recommendations for meal prep. I think I'm going to make some shrimp fried rice today for my meal prep for today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. So I think I'm going to try to see if I can find like some egg rolls from Trader Joe's. I'm pretty sure like she had some egg rolls or like spring rolls on that list. But yeah, I'm excited because I've heard really good things about their like frozen foods. So, I really want to try the egg rolls. I like to make my own fried rice because I have seen people use the Trader Joe's fried rice. But I just prefer to make my own. It's very easy. Um, yeah, so I want some egg rolls. I really am having a hard time finding sriracha, y'all. I think it's like on like a shortage. I don't know. But I'm going to try to find that as well because I don't eat like the off-brand. I only eat the Red Rooster sriracha because all the other ones taste weird. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm about to finish eating, go to the grocery store so I can get back and get home. I want to organize my closet today because it's just a disaster and I need to organize and like really season swap. So I'm going to do that today and I get my lashes in at 2.30. So is it 2.30? I think it's 2.30. I need to check my email. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to a new person. And you know how you get nervous when you like go to a new person for a service, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I like her hybrid um, lashes, so yeah, I'll show y'all what they look like once I leave. And then the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be chilling and getting myself set for the week. I need to edit this vlog so it can go up tomorrow, and edit some reels that I made, like getting my hair done, going to Fume, and of course, like spending the day with me today at Target. And why did I say Target? I'm not going to Target. What? 
Do I need to go to Target? I don't know. Because I'm going to spend money. I don't need this money. But grocery shopping and like just spending the day with me, working my lashes in, etc. So yeah, I will see y'all in a bit. So I just got back home from getting my lashes done. I love them. Like, they're so cute. It's a hybrid set. They're giving natural, which is exactly what I wanted. I love them so much. I was going to take Chase out for another walk, but it's raining. So hopefully it will stop raining before it gets dark outside so I can get him out again. Um, so since it's raining, I was going to go to Marshall's, but I don't feel like running in and out of the rain, especially because I just got my hair pressed. So I am probably going to read and watch a little bit of tv um and then i need to make my dinner i already cooked for chase but i need to make my fried rice and those shrimp goiza that i got from trader joe's earlier so i'll probably do that and i may close out the vlog here because the rest of my sunday i'm just going to kind of relax and reset for the week ahead but this weekend overall was really fun i'm glad that i'm getting out more just doing more and not just staying in the house so I definitely feel like YouTube is going to get me out of my comfort zone, out of my shell, and I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog next week as we spend another weekend with me. And next week is Father's Day, so I'll be with my dad, so I'll be back home again. Bye, y'all.